High-speed countercurrent chromatography is a new kind of chromatography technique based on liquid-liquid partition. Usually, a typical HSCCC system is composed of the following parts: constant flowing pump, detector, main machine. And data processing system. The data processing system equipped for the TBE series of HSCCC apparatus is N2000 chromatography workstation. The Type A apparatus of TBE series are embedded with a constant temperature module, which is used for controlling the temperature of the separation system. You will need to buy a circulator to employ the temperature controlling function. Now let's have a look at the TBE300A main machine. First, let's look at the items installed on the front side. Power switch, control panel, sealing fixation bracket, sample injection port, injection valve, outflow port, flow diversion valve. Then let's look at the items on the left side. There is a groove on the left side, and there are four connectors inside it. The upper left connector port, which marks pump, is used to connect the pump. And the lower left connector port, which marks detector, is used to connect the detector. Then let's look at the control panel. There are two revolution direction indicator lamps on the outside. One is clockwise revolution indicator lamp, which marked forward, and the other is counterclockwise revolution indicator lamp, which marked reverse. Under the lamps, there is a revolution speed display screen. There are eight keys under the screen. Reverse is the counterclockwise revolution key. Forward is the clockwise revolution key. The red key is used to stop the machine. Function, program, and the three direction arrow keys are used to set the working parameters of the frequency converter. And they have been set to proper values before the machine is sold. Finally, in the lower left corner, there is a revolution speed adjusting knob, which can be used to adjust the revolution speed. Then we come to the operations of the control panel. First, turn on the power. And press forward. And then clockwise rotate the revolution speed adjusting knob slowly until the revolution speed arrives at the desired value. At this time, the coils will rotate at the set speed. When you need to stop the coils from rotation, first counterclockwise rotate the knob slowly until the screen zeroes zero. And then press stop. In the end, turn off the power when the coils stop completely. Operations of counterclockwise revolution are very much like the bar ones.
The Azure CCC system must be placed on a steady and safe horizontal platform, whose dimension is about 1,500 mm wide and 800 mm deep. A 3 mm thick rigid rubber plank should be placed between the bottom of the apparatus and the platform to avoid the vibration. The connection work is divided into flow route connection and signal wells connection. First, we come to see how to connect the tubes of the flow route. The first step is to connect the pump to the main machine. The pump has one flowing tube and one flow out tube. The flowing tube is for liquid to flow inside the pump and it has a filter. The flow out tube is for liquid to flow outside of the pump. First, insert the flowing tube inside the solvent. And then connect the flow out tube to the pump connect port on the left side of the main machine with double connectors. Then the flow route connections between the pump and the main machine has been done. The second step of the connection work is to connect the detector to the main machine. The detector also has two tubes. The below one is flowing tube. And the bar one is flow out tube. First, connect the flowing tube to the detector connection port with double connectors. And then collect flow out tube to a back pressure provider. Then the whole flow route connection work has been done. The following step is to connect the constant temperature circulator to the main machine. There are two air exchange holes one circulating water inlet, one circulating water outlet, one drainage hole, and one power socket on the back side of the machine. You will need one temperature keeping pipe about 2 meters long and four hoops to finish the connection work. You also need some tools, including a pair of scissors and several suitable screwdrivers. First, cut the temperature keeping pipe into two equal length parts. Fetch one part and cover one end to a hoop. Then carefully cover this end to the outlet of the circulator. 